Yes, Arthur? Is that you, Marty? No, it's your answering service. Well, I'd like to speak to Vivian, please. Wait a minute, I'll see if she's here. <laughs> Arthur. I don't want to talk to him. Come on, honey. He spent a dime on this call. <laughs> Hello? Vivian? Yes. This is Arthur. <laughs> How are you? Arthur, what do you want? I, I don't know what's been bothering me, Vivian. But believe me, it's not that I don't love you. Hello? 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 I lost her. Arthur, we've been disconnected. Well, if, uh, if it's not that you don't love me, then what is the problem? Vivian, have you got another dime? Uh, yes, here. Wait a minute. That's a 1911. I'll use two nickels. Uh, Arthur! Arthur. Don't blame me. Blame the telephone company. I'll be with you in a minute. Arthur, what is it you're trying to tell me? Shh, not in public, please. Oh, Arthur, for heaven's sakes. Vivian, will you answer the phone, please? I can't talk to two people at once. <laughs> Hello. It's a much better connection, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you really do love me, so why don't we just call this whole thing off right now? Oh, no, 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 Vivian, I do love you. I love you like Romeo loved Juliet. I feel like a kid of 16 again. I'm tingling in places I haven't tingled in years. <laughs> yes. But Arthur, that's exactly the way I feel. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh really? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, really? Well, then, well, then maybe the trouble was that... See, I wasn't sure that you even tingled at all. <laughs> I tingle almost all the time. You see, I, I was afraid, Vivian, that we, we'd have one of those, you know, middle-aged marriages and, and and that you'd marry for for just sort of companionship, you know, and, and because you felt comfortable with me and because you get kind of a chuckle out of my sly sense of humor. <laughs> Hello? She hung up. It's all over. Wrong. Vivian. Not in public. Oh, We're not teenagers, oh, you know. shut up. <laughs> I think they're ready now, Vivian. Uh, uh, you, uh, you uh, strolling minstrels, uh, we'd like a little music for the ceremony. Could you give us some wedding music, please? Mama, 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 don't you miss me? No wonder kids don't get married anymore. <laughs> Something a little more legato. Hello. That's better. Okay, your three minutes are up. <laughs> Walter, have you still got that ring handy? Right here, buddy. Oh, good. <laughs> Dear friends and fellow passengers, <laughs> We are gathered here in the sight of God. Okay, to folks, track fixed. All aboard! Have you no sense of decency? A marriage is taking place here. You ski weekends are getting hairier and hairier. <laughs> Will you, Vivian, take this man, Arthur, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I will. And will you, Arthur, take this woman, Vivian, to be your lawfully wedded wife? By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh! 